Hello and welcome to On the Move. We are Matt and Betsy and it's Christmas Eve. Merry Christmas to you. We're actually recording this a few days earlier for you just to get ourselves organized but we are very much looking forward to this holiday season and Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. Absolutely. The last couple of weeks have definitely been full of all kinds of Christmas preparations. Um, having a house full of artists here, it's meant a lot of making. Um, so everything from yarn to paint to pencil crayons to pencils to, I don't know, you paint, I said paint, you pick an yeah. art product and, and it's pretty much been out and uh, creating. So we've been enjoying that. Mm -hmm. um, oh, and baking. Always baking. Yes. <laughs> yeah. If you didn't see, we did uh, some baking before. We did have somebody reply back to us about some PEI um, yes, that's right. Christmas traditions. And I had seen a little bit about this, but wasn't sure about it. But turns out shortbread or uh, is, uh, is definitely, definitely one. Which here. makes sense. Yeah. There is a fairly, I would say, a strong Scottish mm -hmm. uh, European influence yeah. here on the island. And so that definitely makes sense. Yeah. So we'll make some shortbread, I think, this yes, season we at will. some point. Yeah, we've done sugar cookies. Our girls had um, a small collection of friends come and do some gingerbread um, house building. Uh, they enjoyed that. Mm -hmm. uh, biscotti. I've been doing biscotti because that's just my thing right now. So I've handed out some of that to some of our friends and neighbors. Um, yeah, just all around spreading that Christmas baking joy. <laughs> yeah. And the weather has been up and down here, which we hear is actually fairly seasonable. Yeah. It's seasonal. 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 <laughs> See, fairly seasonal here. That often the real snow in winter doesn't come until January. Yeah. Um, so whether we'll have a green or a white Christmas, I don't know. I always like a white Christmas. I am actually quite literally going back and forth. One day it's rubber boots. The next it's my big winter boots. The next it's my hiking boots. And then it's back to rubber boots because it goes rain, freeze, snow, rain. <laughs> But it's been great and enjoyable. Yeah. Yeah. So a few traditions for us. We yeah. we do. We're not. I guess I am a very tradition-based person. You're. I'm growing into one. Yeah. D yeah. You're up and down and and in and out of tradition. Yeah. Especially since we've had our girls and they're old enough now to sort of remember Christmas to Christmas. They remind me of some of the traditions that are important to them. Mm -hmm. So I'm trying to honor that and value what they appreciate um, and have some actual repeat stuff, which yeah. I think is what tradition is. <laughs> yeah. And it will this year, um, again, if you are, if you're watching this in current day, uh, the 24th uh, in 2021, uh, we are ramping up again, unfortunately, in some of the COVID concerns. Yeah. So it likely won't be um, a normal Christmas yeah. for us, but we still are going to try to enjoy mm -hmm. some of the things you can see. Up in the corner here, um, there's a box of chocolates, Quality Street. For me, when I was younger, we used to get together with extended family, and and uh, one of our families always would bring this box of Quality Street. So I saw one, I picked it up. At some point, I hope to share it with people. Because <laughs> I'd actually open it. <laughs> <laughs> if not, I guess we're just eating chocolate on our own. <laughs> Yeah, and you can also see as well my willow tree nativity scene, which I collected over several years um, through the gracious generosity of my mother-in-law. She was very kind to uh, give me pieces as over several years, and so I, I basically have, it's not, I mean, the set keeps growing, but I have what I consider a complete set. It covers all of the, the important pieces, the shepherds, um, baby Jesus, Mary, Joseph, the wise men, uh, I think there's even a couple additional animals, camels, donkeys. Um, and another important piece to me is my dad is a wood carver. And so last year he created the, uh, the stable or the, it's a representation of whatever that particular stable would have looked like. I understand historically it was probably a cave, um, but he did make me a nice wooden structure to represent um, a stable or a barn or an animal dwelling. So it holds a special place in my heart as it connects different family members for me, as well as the importance of what we actually celebrate at Christmas. Mm -hmm. And so this evening, we will attend online this year, yeah. we will attend um, a Christmas Eve service. I'm sure it will be church. lovely. It will not be quite the same as mm -hmm. singing together as a, a group of people and my favorite part by candlelight. Um, but we will do our best to enjoy the, the sentiment and the worship online. Maybe we could break out some candles here at home. Maybe we could. <laughs> yeah. 
Um, and we hear that our local church, um, St. John's Parish, does often every year they have quite a large service. I think people from the community, if they're not regular attenders of the church, still come to this. They typically have quite a number. So again, probably won't have as many in person this year, but I'm sure there will be a lot of people tuning in online. Yeah, and we've already decided we won't be attending that yeah. service. Even though it's a little bit sad, we would have enjoyed it. Um, but as all things COVID is affecting, um, we're just taking what we can and we look forward to a future of being able to return to some of our favorite traditions, especially the ones that include congregating in larger groups. <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. So uh, we just wanted to take a brief opportunity today to wish you uh, a Merry Christmas. Very Merry Christmas. And uh, we look forward to seeing you again in the new year. We look forward to new opportunities. New adventures. And um, enjoy your holidays. Take care. Merry Christmas. Thank you.